Good morning. Today is Mother's Day, and I am humbled and honored to share my reflections as a mother and grandmother. I want to focus especially on what this means during these trying times. I will not forget too easily the afternoon of the 19th of March. Our SCC group was preparing for the evening liturgy for the solemnity of St. Joseph, husband of Mary. Alas, it was not to be, as it was the day Fiji announced its first confirmed COVID-19 case. Lotoka was going to be on lockdown and people were being instructed to self-isolate by staying at home. That afternoon, as people rushed home, stopping at supermarkets to stock up on food and other essential items, my heart was racing. I could only think of my two sons. One was in Nandi, and I had no idea where the other one was. The weather was bad, and I wanted them to come home right away. I needed to contact them urgently because I just wanted my family to be under one roof, protected against the reach of the coronavirus. I pleaded with my son in Nandi to come home. He reluctantly agreed, and I know it was for our peace of mind and for which I am grateful. However, trying to locate my other son proved more difficult. Apparently that morning, unbeknown to us, he had ventured off with some friends and was on an island which was about 80 kilometers from where we live in Suva. The phone connection was very bad because of the rain and our conversation was beginning to break up. I was beside myself. Although I tried to remain calm, my emotions had escalated to panic mode. I wanted to drive all the way out there to bring him home. Instead, I turned to St. Joseph, protector of the Holy Family, and pleaded with him to bring my son home. One can only imagine my joy and relief when both boys walked in through the door later that evening, no doubt under St. Joseph's protection. On this Mother's Day, we acknowledge the experiences of mothers out there many of whom are facing even greater challenges during these unparalleled times. Those struggling to put food on the table due to job losses, those struggling to keep their children warm and dry in makeshift shelters, those struggling to protect themselves and their children from domestic violence and abuse, those solo mothers struggling to raise their children on their own, and those still who must deal with their children's emotional challenges during this prolonged period of self-isolation. Being a mother during these difficult times is proving to be more unique and daunting. However, mothers will find real comfort in the example of the most inspirational model of motherhood, Mary, our mother. Although Mary encountered many hardships and trials, especially during Jesus' public life, she journeyed closely with her divine son. She remained by his side, sharing in his joys, sharing in the wonders of the miracles he performed, and sharing also in his suffering and humiliation. She accompanied him unceasingly to the end. What can mothers learn from Mary? What would she be saying to us today? I am certain that she is telling us to walk even more closely with our children during these times of uncertainty. The language we are hearing today is the new normal. What is the new normal? What does it look like? We can only speculate on what the change in our lifestyle and behavior will be after COVID-19. So it is against this setting that those of us mothers, like Mary, must accompany our children and guide them through an unfamiliar landscape. Like Mary, we must also be a loving and empowering presence to our children, as together we face the unknown with courage and hope. So to all mothers, we salute you. Thank you for your boundless energy.
and unrelenting spirit. Thank you for your unconditional love. We wish you all a happy Mother's Day with your loved ones. Oh, this is